All right, take two. I tried to shoot this before, but we had a, uh, a runaway. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna talk about entities in this video, LLCs, corporations, all that good stuff. Disclaimer, I'm not a CPA, I'm not an attorney. Can I give you financial advice or legal advice? But I figure I can share my experience with you. So, a lot of people ask, can I start this business without an LLC? And the answer is yes, you can. When I first started, I did not have an LLC. We would just sign the contract. I just signed my personal name and um, the client's name. That's how we did it. Later on, I did get an LLC. It cost me about $100 to set up. Um, did it myself. And um, I mean, you can Google how to do that or you can pay someone to do it for you. Pretty simple process, but it was just a sole proprietorship, okay? So when we talk about asset protection purposes, that LLC didn't really do anything for me um, because everything I made just passed, it passed through the LLC and was listed on my personal tax return, okay? When I started actually making money in the business, I converted that LLC so that it was taxed as an S Corp, okay? Now, when should you do that? A lot of people say, like CPAs will say, when you start getting around that 50 to 60,000 mark in your business, you should probably consider converting um, to an S Corp if you just have an LLC that's a sole proprietorship. Okay, so that's what I did. Um, and that's the cool thing about LLCs is you can, you can amend them, you can change them to fit your needs in your business, okay? Um, and that's the cool thing too, is like, don't think that once you do something that it's set in stone. Like everything is, a business is a living, breathing thing. It's going to change over time. Um, and so you just, you change as your business changes, okay? For a long time, that's all I had, was just my, my overage company, my LLC, taxed as an S Corp. Recently this year, there's been a lot of changes and it's kind of a more complex structure. So like now I have my Overage LLC. I have another LLC that is like referred to as a holding company. And that's going to be used for retirement purposes, um, doing investments, things of that nature. We created another LLC for um, another business. And... Um, and then we also, me and my wife, created a family trust this year. Um, and so now I have multiple entities, right? But that was just this year. And so the point I wanna make is you don't start with all that. You start where you are. And then as you grow, then you can implement more of the strategies, more complex matters, you know? Because here's the thing, guys, like, you will always have problems. Um, I've learned this recently. You know, when I was first starting out, I just figured if I can make 100K a year or 200K a year, I'll be set for life and I won't have to worry about money anymore and I'll be good. The reality is that's not true. As you level up and as you, as you make more, you still have money problems. Now they're different problems. You're not worried about whether you're gonna pay your bills, you're worried about having to pay 40 cents in taxes for every dollar you make, uh, or something of that nature. Or you're worried about, you know, what happens if, if you know, a lawsuit, even if it's a frivolous lawsuit comes against me, am I gonna lose everything? Um, you know, so we, we've kind of, I've kind of taken a step to put things in place as preventative measures. Like the bottom line is if someone, you know, we don't really have any assets yet, me and my family, we just have a house and that's it. Like we don't have a lot of assets, but I want to be proactive in my approach so that when we do have substantial assets, they will be protected and those entities will be in place. But here's the thing guys, bottom line, as you grow, your structure will change and you'll grow along with it. Um, at least you should. 
And so, but don't worry about getting all of these entities in place beforehand. Um, just start where you are, you know, use your personal name, um, get a, an LLC, a cheap LLC real quick. And then as you start making money change from there. Um, so that's what I suggest. That's what I did. Um, always consult with experts, you know, attorneys, CPAs to help you figure these things out because for the longest time, I didn't know, um, what all of these meant, what they did for you. But when you start getting successful and making money in your business, it's very, very important that you hire someone to help you figure these things out. Um, so that one, you don't have to pay 40 cents for every dollar you make to the IRS. Um, and so that you can put that money into retirement accounts and to help grow your wealth and just, you know, solidify and help your family down the road. So start where you can start, do what you can do, and then you grow and things will change as your business changes. It's, it's, ne it's not a set it and forget it type of thing. So I hope that helps you. That's been my experience. That's how things have progressed over time. I didn't have an LLC when I started. I did a deal, went and got an LLC. It was a sole proprietorship. Then when I started making money, converted that LLC to an S Corp. Now that we are, you know, we've grown substantially, we have multiple LLCs and a family trust and all this good stuff. So you progress along with your business. So hope that helps guys, thanks.